life was pretty basic. I thought I was doing quite well, um, but when I look back at it now, I was probably just scathing through. Um, I don't know, it, it didn't have the oomph in the meaning that you would think life really should have. My diagnosis came as a complete shock. Um, in my head, I had prepped for the worst of the worst, which to me was cancer. MS, you kind of have to just live with it. I suppose that's when I started dancing around the little black hole um, and everything became so jumbled within myself and my life. My most common symptoms would be left-sided sensational change. It originally started from hip to toe. It is now neck to toe. Um, this can either spread or decrease. Um, quite often my leg feels like it's a ghost limb. I, I will have dropped foot on occasion and trip up over thin air. On my worst days, that sensation change can go to electric currents. I will have cold water hit me and it will feel like I've touched an electric fence. Um, fatigue is probably the one that is always with me. I'm always constantly tired. I wouldn't say I was a, a couch connoisseur, but I wasn't entirely active either. A little bit active. Um, wasn't doing too much work, study, children, just day-to-day -day living. After the diagnosis, once I got my second one and turned over a new leaf, um, I became more proactive within my own health. Um, Google warrior, looked everything up, changed my diet, um, started exercising more, and then my son joined wrestling through school. My daughter joined a month after that. And because I was looking for more and more ways to just use my body before I lose my body, um, I joined in for the warm-ups and then somehow got roped into the rest. But I'd never looked back. I've never felt as good as what I do now before all of this has happened. Um, MS has been a bit of a, a new leaf turnover. It's created a new person. I even changed my entire career for it. The thing I love about wrestling is the community. Um, it is such a close-knit community who are supportive and non-judgmental. They don't see me for what I have. They see me for who I am. Um, and they've been there through so much more than anyone else has, aside from my own family. Um, also, the, the physical aspect of it, I can never get enough. I didn't know I was capable of doing half of what I'm doing now before all of this. Um, it just pushes your body beyond limits that you ever thought were possible. And you may feel horrible whilst, I don't know, pushing through the six minute rounds or um, doing the extras that the coach wants you to do, but at the end of it, you feel amazing. You achieved something and you did it with like-minded people who are just there to support you and cheer you on. It's fantastic. What successes have I kind of gathered throughout this journey? I've managed to go overseas, something that I didn't think would be possible. I've achieved getting onto the New Zealand wrestling team two years in a row, and I've only been doing this for two years. Um, I've gone over to the Oceanias and represented the senior females um, for my weight division twice and come back both times with a bronze medal. I've gone over to Aussie Nationals. This, it, it shows me that I'm more capable than what a diagnosis could ever 
do to me. I, I don't need to let it make me at all. It's not me, it's not who I am, it's what I have, and I manage it, but I'm more than just that.